I'm Brock the Hawa, Brock of the Yahusha, Brock the Hawa, Brock of the Yahusha, Bashem, Rekak Wadash, the honor to the apostles, the elders. Salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching in truth and in sincerity. This lesson will be entitled, and I quote, Most of humanity doesn't stand a chance. Lord, will you are edified, my source. Natural News article entitled Between Hyperinflation and WW3. Most of humanity doesn't stand a chance. This article was published on the 7th of April, 2022. And it reads, as the world inches closer towards another world war, food shortages, social unrest, and hyperinflation are following suit. And when all is said and done, much of the world's population will likely not make it. And this is absolutely correct. Okay? Only the elect will be protected. And these other nations, beginning with the nobility of Edom, they are going straight into slavery. Okay? The reason why you have so many people in the world or on earth today is because of judgment. Okay. These food shortages, WW3, social unrest, hyperinflation, and etc. is defining a key term in a scripture. First Thessalonians 5 and 1, but of the times and the seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so come as a thief in the night, meaning what? Unexpected. Verse 3, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction come on them as travail on a woman with child, and they shall not escape. So when a woman is having labor pains, okay, it has to play out. There's no reversal, okay? It has to play out until that baby, that baby has been born, okay? Let's focus on travail, according to the Greek. Strong's G, 5604, Odin, Odin. And according to outline of biblical usage, definition two, intolerable anguish. In reference to the dire calamities, precede the advent of the Messiah. All right. Intolerable anguish. Anguish meaning what? Mental and physical pains. In reference to the dire calamities, such as WW3, food shortages, social unrest, and hyperinflation, okay, and much, much more. All of these events will be exercised on earth upon Yahweh Shah's arrival. Proceed means what? Before the arrival of the Messiah, and Messiah. And the Hebrew is Mashiach, which means what? Anointed. The elect of Israel, so-called Negroes, so-called Hispanics, so-called Native Americans, okay, based on the lineage of their fathers will be saved. And like I said, 
beginning with the nobility of Edom, trickling down to these other nations, all right, they will be first fruits of slavery in the kingdom of heaven. Matthew 1 and 21, and she shall bring forth a son, and you shall call his name Yahweh Shai, for he shall save his people from their sins. All right, and it starts from a spiritual sense. Then it will manifest in a physical sense as well. And this is regarding the elect of Israel. They will be saved from these calamities such as World War III, food shortages, social unrest, hyperinflation, and etc. Isaiah 26, verse 20. Come, my people, Israelites, referring to the elect of Israel, enter you into your chambers and shut your doors about you, referring to the chariots. See, the elect will be beamed up into the chariot, chariots, okay, right before America being destroyed. And also, the elect will be beamed up throughout the four corners of the world. Hide yourself as it were for a little moment until the indignation going into righteous anger of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, be overpassed. And this is going into the Most High destroying America. Matthew 24 and verse 27. For as the lightning come out of the east and shine even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. And this is literal. And of course, the Son of Man is referring to Yahweh Shah. Verse 28. For wheresoever the carcass is referring to the elect, there Will the eagles be gathered together? The eagles is referring to these holy chariots. Also can be identified as vehicles of our salvation. Lord will, we are the hopeful elect. Revelation 7 and 13. Now this is going into the account of the mixed multitude which are Israelites scattered throughout the four corners of the world of the world when you jump up to Revelation 7 and 9. All right, Revelation 7 and 13. And one of the elders answered, saying unto me, me is referring to John the Revelator, what are these which are arrayed in white robes, and where came they? Verse 14. And I said unto him, Sir, you know. And he said to me, these are they which came out of great tribulation, such as what? Because also tribulation in the Greek also means straight, S-T-R-A-I-T, which means a position of difficulty and also being oppressed. And what oppressed us? Esau's system, going into the infrastructure within his kingdom. And WW3, food shortages, the system, social unrest, hyperinflation, and etc. Isaiah 43 and can be equated to this great tribulation and have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. All right. Be strong. We're almost home. Lord will, you are edified, shall one.